Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. Young Chris is on the other side of the studio and we're going to go over to him right now to take a look at some product from Soundoff. It is the Soundoff N-Line and Chris is going to give us an overview. Thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining us here at Sirenet Television for a look at SoundOff Signal's N-Line. It's a wonderfully narrow profiled product designed for the exterior use on your POV or emergency service vehicle. It's a product that's designed for a unique mounting. It can be installed on the vehicle's rocker panels, in a front grille, between a tailgate on a pickup truck, in the rear hatch of an SUV, or for vehicles that are equipped with overhead roof racks or factory roof rails, this can be installed on those as well. Or if you come up with some kind of custom application that this product can suit, it's a wonderful fixture to use. The end line is available in four different lengths. So again, depending on how you're going to be accessorizing the vehicle, you can order it as a 36 inch, a 48 inch, a 60 inch, which is the length of the fixture that we have here, and also a 72 inch length. So again, different lengths available depending on how much light is needed and also how much room you have when positioning on the vehicle that you're putting together. The end line itself is available in different color formats. So again, depending on if it's emergency service or utility, you can go ahead and select amber, red, and blue. The end line itself is put together with LEDs that are in a 12 inch segment. So I'll go ahead, turn it on here now so you can get a better look. So you'll notice here, the sections, the red and blue, the lengths of these is 12 inches. So when you have a 36 inch length end line, you'll have three segments, a 48 inch will have four. As you can see on our 60 inch bar here, we have a total of five and for the 72, the longest length, a total of six LED sections. For mounting the end line fixture, it has a flat lip edge. So with that, you can take hardware of your choosing, rivets, bolts, screws, and fasten the lip of the end line onto the surface. So you can see that there is already pre-punched holes in the aluminum housing. So very useful. If you need to drill extra holes, depending on how you need to mount this, go ahead and feel free to do so. On the end lines, something neat that you can do when ordering these is you can pick the end of the fixture in which the wiring harness will exit. So you can pick between a left side or a right side exit. So it makes wiring these up a little bit easier. On the wiring harness itself, it's a double insulated four wire pigtail. So for tying this into your siren and lighting controller, conventional ground and lead input, the green trigger wire will allow multiple end lines to be synchronized amongst themselves. And then with the white trigger wire, you can go through and make adjustments to the flash pattern of the end line. It has a total of 10 different patterns available for you to choose from. So turn it back on, give you a demonstration of how easy it is to use the white wire, make adjustments to the flash pattern setting. So when it's on, flashing away, momentarily take the white trigger, Apply it to a positive 12 volts, and that'll do a single advancement of the flash pattern. For going through, making adjustment further, continue the process. And once you have it on an appropriate flash pattern you're choosing, simply cap off the white wire and tuck it away. The nice thing about the end lines is they have a chip inside that retains the flash pattern, so that way it's a set it and forget it. You don't have to go through and restart it every time or for folks that are wanting to use these on their vehicle and want to have the freedom to change flash patterns on the fly, you can simply add an additional momentary switch, tying that white trigger wire onto it for quick and easy flash pattern changes. So there you have it, a wonderful fixture from our friends at SoundOff Signal. It's the end line available in four different lengths, depending on how you need to tuck this way on your service vehicle. Also something to keep in mind is it is very durable. So rough and tumble, clear polycarbonate lenses over the front LEDs, and then a nice clean aluminum black extrusion. Also for folks wondering, the ends of the fixture do have a heavy duty rubber end cap on them. So that way protects the end of the fixtures and also keeps it from having any kind of a rough edge. So makes the fixture more durable, cleaner for installation, and also when you're keeping this clean along with your vehicle, you don't have to worry about anything getting snagged on the edges. So there you have it. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining us here at SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. A nice overview there of the SoundOff N-Line. Of course, it is available on Sirenet. Go ahead and check it out. 
I'm Stuart, and as always, thanks for watching.